Hi, in this video we're going to be dealing with, uh, with the parallel circuit and we're going to be dealing with, dealing with shorts and opens. So first let's deal with shorts. So in a short circuit you're going to have a circuit and something's going to happen. So, so here, here's a parallel circuit. So in a short, you can you can have it in many different ways. But um, if you have something, let's say a piece of metal that connects from here to here, what that short's going to do is is it's going to dictate where the current goes. Normally, in a circuit like the one above, the current is going to flow here, and the current's going to flow here. And you know the amount of current in each one of these branches is it's going to depend on the resistor in that branch. But here, when you when you short it out, you pretty much you you make a a bridge or a pathway for the current to go where there's much less resistance. So I mean, the way the current works, it's going to come here. It's going to say, "Ooh, should I go this way? Oh, no, too much resistance. Don't want to go that way." and it's going to find this it's going to see that there's no resistance whatsoever so it's going to say hey that's the way i want to go so it's going to go that way and back that way completely ignoring both of these resistors so i mean the way current works is you could think of it as a, a big fat lazy guy who is trying to get to the ice cream store and he's walking this way and then all of a sudden here's a bumpy road and he's like, ooh, there's a bumpy road. Mm, do I want to go that way? And if that's the only way he can go to get to his ice cream, here's the ice cream store. Ice cream. Yeah, if that's the only path he can take to get there, then he's going to take it. And, you know, if <laughs> so, for instance, now let's also say he can go that way or he can go this way. That's uphill. And then he can go downhill. So it, he can either go, now if you give him a second option, with the hill or with the bumpy road, he's going to say, geez, <laughs> do I want to go up the hill or do I want to go that way? Well, you know, he's, he's going to have to go either way. And he's going he's gonna to go either way. But if you give him a nice, smooth, easy path to the ice cream store, he's going to go that way every single time. So you could think of current as in that way. Uh, so whenever it's going to find, it's going to go the path of easiest or least resistance. So which whichever path that may be. So that's how that would work uh, with the short. So now let's show you what happens if it has an open. So in an open circuit, it's it's kind of different. It's it's like here's here's a circuit, and then here's this, the first resistor. And here's the second resistor. Now, what happens with an open circuit is the current can't flow. What happens is it's going this way, and it finds that there's something that that blocks this circuit right here. So it, you know you can't go that way. So essentially, this is what happens. You have if it's open somewhere. If it's open right there, then the entire circuit is just no good and no current at all is going to flow. It's just going to stop right there. That's like, here's the fat guy. And he's like, ice cream. Uh, except the ice cream store is over here, and he has to go across a bridge. But the bridge is blown up, so he can't go across it, and there's no way he can go get his ice cream. So he's, <laughs> he's angry. He's a very angry guy. An angry thief. So yeah, so he'd be quite upset about that if you blew out his bridge. That's pretty much how an open circuit works. Yet you can't, no current will flow. So, but you know, it, it, it can get shorted out in other places too. So I mean, let's say you have, here's another circuit. And there's the first resistor. There's a second resistor. There's a third resistor. And here you're going to have another resistor, a fourth resistor. But let's just say that something happens here. It, uh, 
gets, I don't know, something happens and it, and you have an open circuit here. So let's say somebody hacks at it with a sword, you know, something crazy like that. You know, the current is going to be able to come this way, this way, and this way. But when it gets to here, it's going to come this way and it's going to see that it can't flow. So it's not going to go this way. So this circuit is completely taking out of it. So essentially, your new circuit, it's going to look like three, it's just going to be three resistors. And the fourth resistor, this one, is just completely out of the picture now. So this is what you're going to have, and the current's going to flow through these guys, through that way and that way. <clears throat> and that's how that would work with, a, with, a, with an open circuit on, on the end. But, you know, you can have that open circuit just about anywhere. So it, it all depends where you have it, how it's going to affect the circuit. But wherever that open circuit happens, no more current will run through that way. So, like, if you had the first resistor, the second resistor, let's say a third resistor fourth resistor, a fifth resistor. If you, let's say if you have the open here, then this whole circuit over here, this whole circuit over here is not gonna function. It's just gonna be gone. Now, if you have an open circuit here, then this circuit all right here is just gone. And you won't be able to, no current will flow that way. If you have an open resistor or, or an open circuit here, then everything over here is just gone, and it's you can just completely ignore it. And if you're really lucky and you're on a test and you have an open circuit here, <laughs> then everything is gone and you don't have to worry about it. And if you have the open circuit there, guess what? You don't have to worry about all this either because this, the current has to flow in a in a loop, and if it can't flow through here, then the circuit's gone. So if, if it's open here and the current can't flow, the current will only go this way. So it doesn't really matter where this, I mean it matters where it happens, but if you know if, if you have it here, it's gonna take out this whole circuit. If you have it here, it's still gonna take it out. But if you have it here, then current can still flow down here. So essentially this circuit's gonna, that the, the current will flow there current will flow through this circuit, this circuit, and this, or this branch I should say. So this branch will work, this one will work, and this one will work. But this one is gone. So you, you wouldn't be able to use that one anymore. So you just have to pay attention to where they, they put it, and you gotta hope that they put it in a nice spot for you. So that's how you deal with uh, shorts and opens in parallel. So I, I hope that helped. Uh, and if you like the video, please like it. And uh, good luck in your tests.